All right, so I'm going to talk briefly about a combo that I've been using semi-regularly. Um, it deals with status procs. The meta for the longest time was to run a 10 status or a t viral primer to get 10 procs as fast as possible. But the because of this guy right here, the Panzer Phyla, it's not really too necessary unless you're doing like uh like disruption runs to guarantee something specific has 10 statuses um <clears throat> so with this setup i'm going to show you how to get all of the statuses primed on an enemy and full strip um i recently lucked out with uh, the helminth that caliban wants 200 percent power strength um, it allows him to keep a shield up really easy. It's not an infinite shield gate like it used to be. They fixed it, but um, having it stay up as long as it does uh, makes it pretty easy to survive with him. And basically every time I can helmet it on him, um, or I get, like, this time was my 10th uh, helmet choice, so I got to choose an override because one of them had 200%. Put it on Caliban, and I'll just use him for the week. But okay, let's go over the build. The Invigoration is 200% Ability Strength, 75% Parkour. Velocity, so pretty zippy. Um, the big deal about it is is the his three Lethal Progeny. Um, for each one of the little clones that you get, um, you gain Shield back. And it seems like a pretty big deal to be able to get three or a full shield gate every time uh it ticks per second um there is a slight delay due to um you not gaining energy when you're taking hits but when it's proccing if you do like a rolling guard you'll have a full shield when you're done you don't have to rely on brief for spite even though um casting this can pretty easily get you uh, overs, uh, fusion strike obviously will because it'll give you 150. <clears throat> but I always run this build every time I get this helmet uh, with 235 range, 270 power strength, and 179 duration. And I don't do anything with the efficiency. Energize Aegis. It's just it it patches up all of the holes that he has. And hell, even his three does damage. Um, but the big thing is is the shields per second and also the CC that he brings, 51.7 meters with max targets of 43. It allows you to be incredibly safe, where if you're getting attacked by a bunch of enemies or Eximus, uh, you'll only have to worry about the Eximus. And it obviously gets him enough strength to be able to do a complete uh, shred of the enemy's resistances. But okay, so what we're here to talk about is uh, the status procs. Um, I went with a Corrosive Magnetic Radiation Kuvanukor, uh, and the only thing I really had to put on it was Corrosive. Uh, I obviously could have put something else, uh, two more 60-60 mods, but I decided not to because it exists on the Sea-Do, which I'll show you in a second, uh, innately, so I don't need to mod for it. Um, Augur Seeker, just to increase the amount of duration... Uh, synth charge just so it's reloading when I have uh, like it, when I have it holstered it's reloading anemic agility obviously and galvanized diffusion to get stacks faster uh, jugular spine is actually on here for a reason the sentinels the 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 sentience that Caliban summons have a slam attack and they proc this um, so if I can ever figure out a build where I can get all three of these on, I'm totally going to use this. Because it's just a free CC and a free puncture proc. So, like, even though you see, like, these, there's microwave right there. Um, and occasionally there's the puncture proc. Also, Saxon Spittle. Um, it sometimes procs a blast proc, but it's super quick. But you'll notice the impact proc more. So technically, 
there's six statuses on this Kuva new core. So you have corrosive magnetic radiation, the innate microwave, a very inconsistent impact and blast, and a very inconsistent uh, puncture proc. Uh, but either way, at an absolute minimum, it's four statuses. And the CDU does the rest of the work. Uh, we have blast, magnetic, and gas. We have slash on the disc, and there's puncture on the auto. And the only thing we're going to be missing is corrosive and impact, which is exactly why I'm using a strofa for this setup. Uh, just 60-60s all the way around. Uh, duration, primary dexterity, soft hands, because we're not really worried about ammo since we're only using the, the alt fire. So dual duration mods to just keep the statuses up as much as possible. This to boost the heat or anything else as much as I possibly can. It's, it's small, but still the 80% status chance is more than welcome. And so multi-shot, it's not enough of a loss for me to actually slot this. So just leave the galvanized mod on. Obviously I could throw the ribbon on, but I'm not too worried about it. And soft hands, because we're not worried about ammo. And for the final statuses, uh, impact and viral. I am going to be using a ribbon for this. Um, you could also do this and it'd be more or less the same thing. More viral, uh, but the ribbon, I'm pretty fond of it. It's got cold faction damage to Grenier, plus impact and minus slash, which only applies to the melee. Um, and this is one of the few weapons where an impact mod actually has 100% scaling on it. Uh, because the projectile only deals impact. So where normally um, only like an elemental mod would give you the advertised damage increase. Where like say buzzkill would only apply to this slash percentage right here. Uh, because the way the strophe is and it's pure impact, you can actually use this and get the 165 and do Fever Strike at the same time if you're doing like an anti-corpus build. Uh, so food for thought, just to sort of show off my ribbon also. But okay, and Viral is going to be on the pet. Gonna have a come over spit. Cool. All right, everybody's got stacks. Do the strip. There you go. Obviously, I had to do that a little faster. I was slacking, but there you go. Every single status in a full strip. Um, you do not have to use Caliban for this. Any thing that has like a really easy full strip, uh, Ash can be used with the Shuriken. Um, was it Banshee Silence or no Banshee's Push? Yeah, Banshee's Push has an augment that you could use this on. Yeah, Sonic Boom, uh, and this will strip armor also. Uh, but yeah, any th frame that has like an armor strip, uh, I guess you could use it with Nyx or something like that also. Zaku um, would be extremely potent, and it would allow you to get every status onto a f enemy and do a full strip. You do not have to use Caliban for his four... Uh, Zaku strip, like I was saying, Banshee strip, even like a Nyx strip. Um, Frost, obviously. Just any frame where you can get to 100% strip. I mean, technically Necros also, but I guess that would be more feasible now with the uh, new power strength mods. Or augments, but... Or, sorry, Arcanes. But, yeah, anything where you can get like a full strip, even Ember, 
will allow you to do this combo. It turns every enemy into paper, regardless of their level. So if you're looking for a combination that works, that's the setup that actually is pretty useful. I actually like using Caliban because his strip is actually a bubble uh, that gets left on the ground. So say you're running like a camping build, right? Everything in that little blue circle, the bubble stays for like 20 seconds. And it's a full strip as soon as they come in. Uh, so say you're running with like a max range uh, Vauban or something. You go like min strength, max duration, and drop this down on top of the ball. And everything just gets instantly stripped. And it makes it so much easier to take them out. But anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you all for clicking on my video. I hope this actually helps. Um, it's just, I know most builds that you see don't, they are tailored to like a specific enemy, but just if you were wondering how or what setup you would need to get every single status on an enemy, this is one that does it. Um, and again, it scales incredibly well. So anyway, thank you. Have a good day.